this channel is for viewers over 18 and our content is purely educational. We're not here to promote or encourage illegal activity. Hello legends, welcome back to your Bud Fellas channel, your friendly cannabis education channel. Today we're diving into a really important topic that plays a massive role in the end result of your plants. We're going to talk about plant training, how stress, balance and guidance can completely shape the way a plant grows in response. It's one of the most fascinating part of plant science and by the end of this episode you'll understand exactly why both high stress and low stress training matters so much so grab a drink get comfortable and let's get into it this one's all about understanding the art of training your plants training simply means guiding the way a plant grows in nature cannabis tends to grow tall with one main central stem that works fine in the wild but in controlled environments growers often prefer shorter bushier plants with more flowering sites Training is about redistributing growth so that light reaches more parts of the plant. Think of it like teaching a tree to grow in a certain shape. It's the same principle. So, what is plant training? Now, now you've heard what training really means. It's not about control. It's about understanding how the plant grows. When you start noticing how it reaches for light or adjusts itself to space, it starts changing the way you see it. It's all about working with your plant, not against the plant. So now that we've covered what is plant training, we'll be moving on to low stress training. LST is exactly what it sounds like. A gentle way of bending and tying down branches so the plant spreads out horizontally instead of vertically. By doing this, Growers create an even canopy where all bud sites receive equal light. This reduces shading and encourages balanced growth. LST is popular because it's relatively safe. The plant isn't damaged, just guided. Beginners often find LST easier to start with since mistakes are less severe. For example, tying down a branch slightly too tightly might slow it down, but it rarely kills the plant. Low stress training. So that's low stress training what you just listened to. Calm, steady, natural. I like this approach because you can literally watch the plant respond day by day. It's a gentle guidance, not pressure, and that's the that's the beauty of it. So that we've covered low stress training, let's move on to high stress training. Stress training involves techniques that intentionally stress or damage the plant to change its growth pattern. The most famous example is topping. Topping. This means cutting off the very tip of the main stem. When you remove the top, the plant no longer has a single leader. Instead, it redirects energy to the side branches, producing two new main shoots. Over time, this can be repeated to create multiple colas. Thimming. Similar to topping, but instead of cutting cleanly above a node, growers pinch or cut part of the new growth. This can result in three or four new shoots instead of two, super cropping. A more advanced method where branches are gently crushed or bent to force the plant to heal and grow stronger in response. These methods come with risk. If done poorly, they can stunt growth or permanently damage the plant. That's why they're classed as high stress. So that was high stress training. Now that's just the top aside, where a bit of stress leads to strength. It's amazing to see how the plants recover and come back even stronger, which you wouldn't even think that will happen. The goal here is balance. Just enough stress to build resilience, not to damage them. Low stress training bends and ties branches gently. High stress training includes topping, fimming, and super cropping. Growers train plants to increase efficiency and yields. Yeah, so comparing the two approaches. So when you look at, bo at both together, you see they're just two ways to reach the same goal. Nothing really different. 
one's just a high stress and one's a low stress. Low stress focuses on patience and shaping. High stress builds strength and response. Both methods teach you more about how the plant's communication and adapts. So, support and structure. Training is basically nothing without support. This part's all about giving your plant the foundation to grow confidently without stressing them too much. Structure is everything. This is the main thing. Everyone needs to help and understand that. Supporting it and giving it structure. That's what that's the main thing. It keeps your plant steady through every stage. So let's move on to why training matters. This is a very important bit. You need to listen very carefully, guys. Why do growers train or top plants? The answer is simple, to maximise efficiency. In a natural state, much of a plant's lower growth is shaded and produces little. Training exposes more of the plant to light, meaning more sites can develop properly. Topping breaks, apical dominance, the plant's natural tendency to focus on one main stem and encourages bushier growth. The end result is often a higher yield and better use of space. So why training matters? In the end, it's not just about the method, it's about the connection. Training shows how alive and intelligent these plants are. You're not forcing growth, you're guiding natural rhythm. Plant training really works. Both sides, the science and the art, and come together to teach patience. If you don't like this video, please like and subscribe. And if this was a very helpful video, please in the comments below write yes. If it wasn't, please write no. And if you do write no, if you can give me a little <clears throat> line of why so I know myself. I really appreciate you being here watching this. Take care, legends. See you on the next video. Hit that subscribe button.